In this video, I'll show you how to lock cell in formula in LibreOffice Calc. Hi, my name is Michael, and I make quick tips and video tutorials on how to use Calc software. So you probably encountered a problem where you try and copy and paste your formula, and it seems like it doesn't work or it's acting up. Here, I'll do a quick demonstration of that. I'll just make a range of values, and then I'll create a simple formula of just adding two values together. So if I copy down the formulas, we take a look at the formula bar, it's simply adding one cell with another. The problem arises, I'm trying to copy and paste this, and let's say I'll put it somewhere else. It could be really anywhere or another sheet. And now we see the result is just a bunch of zeros. We're expecting to see the same results here, starting with the number 3, ending in 19. So why is it that calc is trying to act up and not giving me the values I want? Well, the reason is, by default, calc uses something called relative reference in their formulas. What this is, is that when we copy and paste the formula, it will automatically adjust the column and the row number. So here it's B4 and C4. When I paste it here, it's F9 and G9. So I basically shifted the formula over a few cells. If I press F2, it shows me that basically it's trying to add the two cells to the left of cell H9. And up here, if I press F2, it shows me that it's also adding up the two cells to the left of cell D4. So this is the unintended consequence when using relative reference. The solution to not have it change is to make it an absolute reference. So to do that, we basically force it to stay the same by using the dollar sign before the column letter and the row number. So here it looks a little weird in the formula, but if I copy and let's say I'll paste it anywhere, now we see the formula kept the same column and row when I pasted it somewhere else. I could keep pasting it elsewhere and we see that it's really going to keep it all the same and it won't change in the way that the relative reference does. Now the quick way to toggle between relative and absolute reference is just to use the keyboard shortcut F4. So I'm pressing it a few times and you can see how the formula changes each time I toggle it. I actually made a video recently going over this keyboard shortcut, so I recommend you to watch that video by clicking the end card over here next. Thank you for watching. I hope this video helps. Have a great day, and as always, stay nifty.